Jerry and Harold are the least intelligent engines working on the railway. They like to have fun together and often play tricks on the workmen. Whoa, look over there, huh? One morning, the fat director came to see them. Important goods have arrived in the big yard. I need you to help the other engines. But we've been working so hard lately, I don't think we need- Okay. Hi, Chuck. Oh, hey guys, what's up? The fat director asked us to take all your trucks for you. Oh, that's perfect. Now I can keep sleeping here. Just wake me up when you guys are done and uh, try not to get lost. What do you mean, get lost? Let's take a look around you. Oh, yeah. So, what do we do now? Uh, there's a turntable over there you could use. What's that? Dude, you've never been on a turntable? I've been on a turntable. Shut up! Anyways, basically, it's a, it's a piece of track, and it's a circle, and you go around a bunch of times, and maybe you throw up, but it's fun. Dude, oh, that, dude sounds that sounds awesome. sweet. Where is it? It's right over there. Just don't get in any trouble on it, because then I'm going to get blamed. Chuck, we are completely responsible. You have nothing to worry about. Jerry went first. Harold, you gotta try this out. This is pretty fun over here. Jerry was having so much fun until he was stopped by the mentally retarded foreman. So I appreciate if you go my turntable and go the other way. I have a gun. I'm gonna sh I pee myself. Jerry did so, but unfortunately, the foreman stopped the turntable in the wrong place. Jerry was on the wrong track, and there was Harold coming at him. Great! Nice! Whoa, what was the one thing that I told you? And who is gonna get in trouble for this now, huh? Me! Whoa, 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 over here. Quit your whining. If you two do not behave, I shall do something about it. Now, clean this up. The next day, Harold was still grumpy. Now get a load of this. I'm coming down the track. I have the right of way, right? I'm good. Then Jerry gets off the freaking fancy turntable. He's coming down my track. And then he hits me. The way I heard it, it sounds like you're both in the wrong. The way you heard it from who? Because C- that's not what happened. That's, I'll tell you, that's not what happened. Jerry and Harold continued to bitch about each other all day. Bitch. Bitch. The other engines were getting tired of this. I'm getting pretty tired of this. Yeah, I agree. That's why I've come up with a plan. Chuck whispered his plan to Edward. He then told the fat director. I'll start making arrangements straight away. The next morning, Jerry and Harold were called to the yard. All right, boys, here's the plan. This is a 30-car train of napalm I need you to pull the Vickers down. If either of you screw around at all, you're both going to blow up and die. Any questions? Oh, Good. Harold tried to pull the train first. What's in this napalm, lead? Not strong enough, Harold? Yeah, right, you try it. All right, prepare to eat my traction tire. More steam, that'll do it. <sighs> what are we doing here, man? Neither of us can pull this. I think you're right. Hey, I'm sorry about earlier, but I don't think either of us are really on the wrong track, necessarily. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Alright, let's try and pull this together. Okay, ready when you are. I guess this isn't that bad. Not bad at all. Oh, shoot. What? I lost my wallet. All right, let's go find it. I think I dropped it back there when the fat director was talking to us. Yeah, right when he was talking about how if we messed around at all, we'd probably both die. Harold, where'd you put the rest of our train? What are you talking about? Oh. Uh, looks like we lost it. What do you mean, looks like we lost it? How do you lose it? Well, I don't know, maybe the knuckle broke from all the pressure. <sighs> Whatever. Probably wasn't your fault anyway. Look, we gotta stop blaming each other for all this crap. Yeah, we do. 
I guess we're pretty good friends no matter what. Yeah. Well, we better go find those cars. I think we're on a downhill grade, too. I hope they're not barreling towards us right now. <laughs> That'd be bad. 